What is up? Okay, so, oh man, welcome back to Make Art Life. This is, uh, also, welcome to Shop 31. You might be on both channels. Um, this is a custom piece that I'm making. This is a commission. I've got, uh, this is a little peep fan. Uh, I got a 9 by 12 piece of wood that I'm going to paint on. I've got it framed off. I'm going to hit it with some magenta with a squeegee. Let it dry for a second. And then I'm going to just lay this on here casually. This is my favorite brand of paint, Montana. Uh, Montana Black specifically I really like. And I'm just going to just lightly hit it with this a little bit. Um, but yeah, welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, I do commissions. I do all kinds of stuff, man. This is just my art channel and my uh, Shop 31 is a music and lifestyle channel. So we do, we do everything on these channels. So let me get started here uh, with this beautiful magenta paint. Like I said, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. We got some purples here. I got this pretty yellow. We're going to do this yellow here. Got this Montana black light purple. I've got uh, like, a, like a violet uh, Windsor Newton. And then I've got a custom baby blue that I'm not going to show y'all yet. It's a baby blue. I might even use a turquoise. I, I'm wrestling with these two colors. I'm going to do the, the peep picture, like his actual photograph in. But let's go ahead and get started. I brought a paintbrush out here too, just in case this uh, squeegee didn't do the job. I feel like it will. I've used the squeegee many times before. It's been a little while I'm out of practice, but you know, a commission is the best time to try something that you've done in a long time, right? <laughs> Dude, this this painter's tape is freaking sweet. All right. Oh shit! There we go. Dude, that looks amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Oh, look how freaking pretty that is. It's going to dry so awesome. Okay. And let's put a little bit more up here because we want to have, I'd rather have a little too much than a little too little. All right. This is bad man pajama. Oh my goodness. Okay. Man, too bad I can't get some back in the tube. I got plenty of paint left over. <laughs> Look how freaking pretty that's going to be. It's like a stain almost. Oh, it's awesome. I love doing stuff like this, man. Shit. Well, at least it was a paid for piece of artwork. Because I hate to waste that kind of paint. Shit, man. Oh, well. Mm. Alright, I'm going to let it dry for a minute. and I'll be right back and we will get uh, a little bit of this layer on here. And uh, yeah, this will be a fun piece. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, now this bad boy is a little bit dried off. Not all the way, but a little bit. We're not going to do too much to it over here anyways. As a matter of fact, I was thinking I might hit this corner with a little bit of triangle. All right. Just a little bit. We just want to kind of like fade it out from here up. Okay. Uh, and then I might hit the other corner with a little bit of like checkerboard. We don't want to. We don't want to cover up too much of this. One second. Ooh, need some more Montana paint. All right. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. See, we don't want much, but what we get, ooh, is sexy. All right. And when I and when I pull this tape off later, this is going to be ridiculous looking. So now we flip it around because I don't really know what side's going to be the top yet. Probably this side based on what I'm looking at right now. And then we'll take the checkerboard and we'll hit it with a little bit of purple, light purple, a light. Uh, this Montana purple. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. You know what? Dust it with a little bit of pink. 
and then pull it off. Oh, that's nice. The best part is, is that you see a line here. When this is all dry, and I've begun to do all the inside of it, this line, you won't even be able to see it. It's, it'll be gone. I'm gonna put so much stuff over this. Okay, so we got this done here. The last thing I'm gonna do tonight before I let this dry, yo, I cannot wait to see this without the tape on it. It's gonna look bananas. It's time to hit it with this yellow. I wanna do a little bit of yellow dust, all right? Because the, the peep face is gonna be probably a light blue. I'm gonna add some more purple to this, uh, some more pinks and purples to this tomorrow. Once this is dry, I'm gonna add a little bit of this medium, uh, medium magenta and then a little bit more of the base color that we used. And I'm gonna just kinda spread some stuff across. I might throw a little red in there. Um, and I might even throw a little bit of orange on there because orange looks dope with these colors. Um, the thing is, is you've gotta be careful. You don't wanna overdo it. Less is more on a lot of this stuff, which like I said, this doesn't look necessarily like it's going to look too awesome yet. But once this tape comes off, you'll really see it. Because like all the real bright purple stuff is going to be gone because the tape will be will be gone. So this is going to look awesome. I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with this already. All right. So check this out. Let's see if I can get it done. All right, so we're gonna leave that there. Again, we don't want too much of it. We just want a little bit of yellow on there. It's gonna make the pinks and the purples pop. Let's see if we can go with, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna let it sit like that. Less is more, man, less is more. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit the corner with a little bit of this golden sunset. It's a slightly bit darker. Watch this. Not much either, again, very, very small amount. I'm gonna do it in this corner and I'm gonna go up that way. So more here, less here. Let's see if I can get it going. Oh shit. There we go. Two shades of yellow that might be noticeable, it might not. I don't wanna do too much of it. Um, but right now you can see it's starting to really take a shape of its own. And this is all with the spray paint on the top coats. Now the next coat will be a little bit of brush and it won't be much, it's gonna be just a little bit. I don't wanna to put too much on there because I don't wanna to take too much away from what's going on in the eventual background because Peep's face is gonna be right in front of this. So I wanna make sure to disguise this line a little bit. And that's really about it, honestly. Add a couple of, let's see, I might go super dark purple. And then, you know what? These three colors. The dark purple, the magenta, and the light magenta will create a nice, probably go around the border a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me. I need, I need to brainstorm on it. But we're about, I don't know, halfway done with it. The peep thing's going to be dope when it's finished, though. But thank you for hanging out and watching this, man. I appreciate it. We'll be back with y'all in a little bit. It's dry now. I uh, Last night, before I went inside, I just had a, I don't know, desire to hit that line it was messed up so I hit it with a little bit of dark purple in the middle to give it some more dimension what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this pattern right here on this last corner to give it some you'll, you'll see what it does uh, and then we're going to let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to screen the actually yeah I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to screen Peep's face on it um, trying to decide if I'm going to do anything else to it I think I might need to just leave it alone at that point I don't want to go overboard and mess it up. So, but <clears throat> I'm going to use the uh, light purple and go like just real, real light. <clears throat> All right, let's see what this does. Yeah, see that get yeah that completes it. I like that. So what I might do is, let's see here. Got a couple of, I can maybe do like a, a dark purple and magenta in the corner here, the corner here, to kind of tie it all in. I'm worried that I'm gonna go too overboard with it though. I might wanna just screen this man's face on here. 
And uh, oh, you know what I could do? Something that's, I wanna do something in these corners to kind of match these two corners, but I don't, I don't know what. I think I should just kind of sit on it for a little while, let this dry. And uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll let it just kind of simmer in my head and then uh, I'll figure it out. I can't wait to untape this. This is gonna be so badass. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I gotta do this kind of quick because the ink's drying, but I got this going here. I got my peep screen. I mixed a custom blue. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's gonna be, it's like a baby blue. It's really freaking pretty. But uh, I gotta do this fast because the ink's drying. So, I wanted it to be very, very light. It's almost as light as the mint, as the mint green one was on the other piece that I did. Ah, there we go. Pull it across. There we go. Now you can kind of see the color a little bit better, actually. Can you see what color it is? It's really pretty. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to throw some of it out, but I had to put a lot of it on the plate to mix it. All right, now let's see what happens. Boom. You've got a peep. <laughs> It's very light. You can't really see it until it dries. You'll see it turn out the blue, but I think it's, a, I think this is finished. Uh, I'm going to go wash my materials real quick and then I will pull the tape off here and show you guys what it looks like. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if we can get this thing unwrapped real quick. Sometimes this, this tape is too good. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Man, I'm glad I stopped when I did. Ooh, sometimes you wonder, you know? It's hard to create this stuff and you want to make your customer happy. Oh my goodness. Dude, that came out so much better than I thought it might. Look at this. In a few minutes, I will uh, when it when it's dry, more dry because it's not quite dry, and I'm about to heat I'm about to heat it, cure it with some heat. Uh, I will do a close up of this one for y'all to look at. Uh, for anybody that's interested in anything else that I've got, because this is already this is a customer's, this is a commission. I've got this Juice World one here, that was a trial piece that I was working on. Uh, it's double layered. It's Got an interesting look on purpose. I'm not too fond of it, but I would sell it real cheap if you want it. I don't know, 20 bucks. That's original artwork, not a print, so if you want it. Um, but this one here is my favorite peep one that I've ever done, and I'm gonna finally list it for sale. Uh, so if you're interested in this, this is the original piece. Uh, I will have prints of this available, but this piece here is $50. This is not that big. It's This is nine by 12, so this is probably, no, this is nine by, uh, 15. I think this is 8 by 12. I'll have to measure it out. Hold on. Sorry. 8 by 10, 9 by 12. I was correct the first time. Wow, that's 12 inches. It looks bigger than that. Anyways, whatever. Um, if you're interested in these, let me know. Um, no big deal. 
if you're not. But I'm really proud of this. This looks way, way better than I thought it was going to. Um, and I thought it was going to look pretty dope. When this dries and you can see the blue hue to it, it's, it's pretty awesome. Anyways, this is what we do over here at uh, Make Art Life and Shop 31. So, you know, check it out. All right. Have a good one. Peace. So, in the shade, you can't really see the blue tint very well, but it looks really good. Go out in the sun, though. You can see the blue on there a lot better now. This thing is awesome. Very happy with this.